In this video, we're going to be talking about whether or not you should have a side job while you are in school and trying to get good grades. This isn't a topic that was requested by anyone, but since I have a lot of new student viewers, I think it's a question that may come up as they progress through high school, maybe even college, and they consider, should I have a side job at who knows where, Panera, at a uh, restaurant, at a shopping mall, wherever it is. Would that take away from your pursuit of good grades and excellence? So I think this is a fascinating question and I believe it is a case by case basis. What I mean by this is everyone has a different amount of to-do lists. For me, I had more than the average person. I had uh, advanced classes in school I was taking. Then I tacked on a sport, which was track and field slash cross country. And then I tacked on um, extra bonus studying for the SAT, which started out slow, but ultimately amassed to about one to two hours a day. And that was very abnormal. Um, it really required a special mind and a real cultivation of uh, passion towards that. And so you had all these things and then I was competing at a fairly professional level in classical piano, solo, duet, uh, mostly. Uh, occasionally concerto and other stuff. So I had maybe an hour of practice per day at least uh, when I hit my senior year of high school. So of course with me, um, although I had a lucrative job in middle school, I decided to just kind of phase that out. At the time I was a soccer referee and I would get paid up to $20 a game, sometimes for a game that lasted 50 minutes or less. Um, but you know, it turned out to be much more stressful than I thought. So ultimately, I just kind of unconsciously started to phase that out, sign up for less uh, of those games until I just stopped completely. So ultimately, that's my situation, but that's not necessarily other people's. For example, I know a lot of high achieving students who don't go to any sports, who don't do any real clubs after school or uh, any of those other extracurricular activities like me. And um, at this point, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. You know, one might argue that, oh, it's, it's better to have these extracurriculars because it you know, get you into college more. However, what I've learned is that stacking your school application with all these uh, you know, extracurriculars, obviously it has diminishing returns, especially depending on your impact on them. Um, I made a mistake of going to a dozen different school clubs after school. And since it was very easy to just go to one or two, and then you realize that no one else really returns to any, but you could still kind of sign up as a member, um, then you can you could stack up a bunch. And this had very little impact. I think the you know, people who look at those uh, really just kind of skip over them because they n assume that you're just part of these clubs just to be a member. Maybe you didn't even contribute that much. So even the clubs I did go to somewhat often like... Um, I think I went to table tennis club and math club um, somewhat often. You know, that had like very little impact. Uh, and so it's really about kind of quality over quantity. Um, I was a vice president of a couple clubs and they were very chill clubs as well. I never really had to do much or add contribute much. And uh, despite this, uh, it led to uh, you know, a good title, and that probably had more impact than the five or six clubs I was just a member of. So my point, though, is that um, look for impact rather than quantity of activities. And so if you are trying to decide between getting a job and getting a you know, list of random clubs or sports or stuff like that, 
figure out what what's going to contribute most to your end goal and your end goal may be to get into a good school maybe it's to get into a a good job that you enjoy and so when you really look forward and ask that question you start asking more sophisticated better questions like is this job helping me build experience or at least helping me find out what i like or not like rather than applying to a mcdonald's or chick-fil-a what if you apply to a uh, engineering internship of some sort because you want to be an engineer one day or some type of tech startup uh, because you want to be a programmer one day so even if you're paid less it could give you more of the experience and skills necessary to make a lot more in the future on the flip side you know maybe you really want to go into business and you want to learn about customer service well chick-fil-a to this day has one of the best customer service out of most companies out there so while it may seem like a lowly job, it could be one that actually benefits you. Now, you, you, if, you're, if it's really just a pure money play and you just want to make that minimal wage, ask yourself, what is this money going to be useful for? Um, chances are, other than some video games and clothes, will that really have an impact on you as much as you think? Probably not. And this is why a lot of um, Asian immigrant parents, they have this hyper focus on school and to the kind of detriment and everything else. Um, I don't think, you know, there's different flavors of that. Uh, and some of them do let their kids do extracurricular activities. However, some of them, um, I don't necessarily agree with that extreme route because I do think that even a uh, fast food job at a Panera Bread or a uh, McDonald's with the right attitude and the right learning mindset, you can take a lot of work experience from that job that will put you a step up when you actually do end up doing a, getting your career or applying for a serious uh, big time job. What I mean by this is, you know, you, you take the person who has just kind of studied all the time and you compare that to the person who's done a good deal of studying, but they have like a couple jobs under their belt. You gain a lot of real world experience, street smarts, people skills, um, understanding of the processes of work and how it flows and how to interact with other people. Those interpersonal skills that, you know, if you present themselves well in the job interview, in your resume, um, they'll be very valuable. But also for your own internal skills, that'll be very valuable. You know, a lot of these uh, students, unfortunately, they're very book smart, but they're not street smart. And you know that once you go into the real world, whether you're trying to be a doctor, lawyer, uh, physician, uh, surger, surgist, surgeon, I don't even know the term, um, you're going to need emotional intelligence, social skills to interact with your patients, your coworkers, and that does not come easy. It just, just doesn't come natural um, when you've, you haven't had practice and experience with it. So I do think there's more value to a job than just the money aspect. You have to consider that as well. And so um, yeah, long story short, in conclusion, take in all, all these factors into account and figure out your specific situation. Chances are if you have time, and I'm talking if you have like five to ten hours of free time a week and you find yourself consistently blowing it and feeling kind of dazed, blowing it on stuff that you you don't, see an impact on like video games maybe that's a time to start considering something else now that may be more school studying and stuff like that if you haven't maxed that out or gotten close to it but some of some of you all have maxed that out and you know based on your situation you don't want to jump to the higher grade of more um, difficult grades and that's that's a fine decision as well well you have that free time use it for maybe some work experience. So nowadays, I think more than ever, this generation will have more access to the tools and resources than ever before to make the most of it. The question is, how many of you are actually going to do this? I'm talking stuff like going on LinkedIn and um, doing thorough research on the various industries out there, and then doing your good networking, showing your ambition, and connecting with some director of, let's say, esports or something and securing an internship those things um while tough are not impossible so think about it um, i think you'll uh make the right decision and uh good luck to you